Got hair in my mouth. Hey Kern County, Megan Pearson with this week's Around the County and today we're in Kernville which in a couple of days is going to be completely transformed. It'll be full of all sorts of people as Whiskey Flat Days takes off. Uh, if you get a chance, otherwise come out and check it out. It's a beautiful park. It, this is actually a county park here in Kernville. Uh, so we'd love to have you come spend some time with us here. Speaking of Whiskey Flat Days, uh, starting this Friday, February 14th, Whiskey Flat Days will kick off and it is an unbelievable event. If you get a chance to come up here, they have all sorts of uh, vendors that are in the center of downtown Kernville. They're, this area will be full of bounce houses and all sorts of fun things for the kids. And they have a parade. There's vendors and booths set up all over the place. Great arts and crafts. There's a parade, there's a rodeo. If you want more information about Whiskey Flat Days or the Kernville area in general, please visit the Kernville Chamber of Commerce. Our next event is the HGTV Extreme Home Makeover Viewing, which is this Sunday, February 16th. And after a 10 year break, they've come back and they're filming again. And the first house that they selected was for the Mosley family here in Kern County. And the Fox Theater is hosting a viewing. It starts at 5 p.m. on Sunday, February 16th. Tickets are free and open to everyone. If you want more information, you can visit Ball Fans Custom Homes and they will give you your tickets and get all the information to you. Our next event is the 2020 Founders Day event for Shafter's um, Minterfield Air Museum. They're hosting an event at Hodel's on Saturday, February 15th at 5.30. You can get tickets and information from the Minterfield Air Museum. Okay, our next event is Acoustic Fridays and that happens up in the Pine Mountain Club area. It's this Friday, February 14th from 7 to 9 p.m. It's live music from local talent. They do this every Friday. Uh, we encourage you to go participate and if you want more information, you can visit the Mountain Communities Chamber of Commerce. Next up, we actually wanna tell you about a couple of local hikes here in Kern County that we would encourage you to go check out. The first one is in Tehachapi. It's the Tehachapi Mountain Trail. It's a 4.8 mile out and back hike uh, it's accessible all year long during the spring. There's great wildflowers, there's bird watching. Um, it's great if you want to bring a leash dog um, and good for families. So make sure you check that one out. Our second hike is actually out in the Ridgecrest area. It's a three and a half mile hike. Uh, it's on the El Paso Mountain Jeep Trail. Um, it's moderately trafficked. Again, it's an out and back trail, lots of scenic views. It's accessible all year round. And again, leash dogs are welcome. So that's out in Ridgecrest. Please get out there and check it out. Last, just a couple of quick reminders. Uh, election day is coming up. Your vote by mail ballots went out on February 3rd and your sample ballots are on their way. If you want more information, you can visit kernvote.com. Uh, and the state also has a really great site that has a ton of resources about this election and all the others as well. And that is vote.ca.gov. That's this week around the county and we'll see you next time.